Steve, it's April 1st. It's time to see tomatoes. In fact, I got a letter from Barbara in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. She wrote, I'm a first-time gardener. I'd like to try to grow tomatoes, but I'm not sure if I should start with small, already grown plants or do the seeds myself. So why wouldn't you just go to the garden center and buy plants? Well, when you go to the garden center, you're buying what they grow, the varieties they want to grow. I like to grow heirloom varieties, different varieties, so that's why I do the seeds myself. All right. How do you get started? Well, Steve, it all starts here with a soilless mix. Soilless. Right. This is peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite mixed together, and it's all sterile, no diseases. So you buy this in these plastic bags at the garden center? Right. In this case, I would, I would buy it because I'm going to use so little. You wouldn't bother mixing it all yourself. Right. You got a tray? Yep. I like to start it in this tray, and in the tray I put these individual packs, six packs, and I simply take the soilless mix and fill it all in. So the plastic seems kind of inelegant. Why wouldn't you use a nice pottery? Again, pot I like want this. as sterile an environment as I can get. So once I get the soil in there, I simply push it down, add some more, grate it off to the top. It's nice and level. So how tight do you want to compact it? You don't want it tight, Steve. You want it firm. Now, one important key is to put a tag in with the seeds. You're never going to know what these individual plants are until they fruit. So this way I know what I'm growing. All right. Once Anything special about seeds? Well, on the back of each pack, there'll be a date. And that date should be this year's date. OK? So you're ensured you're getting fresh seed. And fresh seed will germinate. Is that right. the idea? So what I'm going to take is one, two of these per cell. Boy, they're tiny. It's tough to see them. They're really small. Okay, so you just go around and lay two in each cell. Why two? Well, Steve, just in case one doesn't germinate, it ensures I will have one per cell. And what if both of them come up? Well, I'll take a look at them, and the strongest one I'll leave, and the smaller one I'll simply cut off with a pair of scissors. Now, once the seeds are laid out, you simply push them down a little bit, about a half an inch. More soil on yep, the top? Yeah, a little more soil on the top. Nice and light. Okay. And that's it? Watering. Well, you take a watering can, right? No. You just think you're going to force all that water on there. You're going to separate the soil from the seed. What I like to do is take the six pack and immerse it in water in a small tray like this. Now, what's going to happen through capillary action, the water is going to come up from the bottom to the top. The soil will turn dark in color, and you'll know it's damp all the way to the top. So do you need to start these in the sun? No, you don't. All they need is what's comfortable for us, room temperature for the first 10 or 14 days. Then they're going to germinate. Once they germinate, I want you to put them in a south-facing mm -hmm. window and give them as much sunlight as you can. When do you set them up? Six weeks after the frost. So give them a good six weeks and they'll be ready to go. And then in the fall, fresh tomatoes. All you can eat. All right. Thanks, Roger. You're welcome. Hey, can you imagine lugging that ladder up from the garage every time it's going to change its filter? That's a pain in the neck. I bet you guys have not even thought about ordering your tomato seeds for this year. Don't have to. Thank you, Roger. You got Thanks, Roger. Excellent. You did these for him? Us. You did them for us. <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. I'll hook you up. Well, you've just seen what passes for another episode of Ask This Old House. Until next time, I'm Steve Thomas. I'm Rich Rithui. I'm Tom Silva. And I'm Roger Cook. For Ask This Old House. Here you go, Steve. Take six. Take me. Email your questions to our online address, asktoh at pbs.org, or write to us, care of This Old House Magazine, 1185 Avenue of the Americas, New York, New York, 10036. And thanks.